time is critical for patients who can't afford to sit in the ER. Now technology is bridging the gap in healthcare. You can now FaceTime your doctor. It's a growing trend that explains how it works. Every year in the United States, there's about 141 million trips to the emergency room. There's your life or death cases, but a lot of those people could have been treated at a doctor's office or through telemedicine. That's right, FaceTiming your doctor. Last year, there were about 121 billion trips to the doctor's office. An estimated 70% could have been treated through telemedicine. Puts the patient in direct contact with a local physician. It's a dad coming in there at two o'clock in the morning with his two-year-old with an ear infection. I go take a quick peek in their ear and they slide over a $2,700 prescription of amoxicillin that's $4 at Walmart. Employers pay $10 a month per employee for unlimited access to a doctor. The idea is catching on for business owners. The Arizona Small Business Association says it's seeing employers who can't afford to offer medical insurance at least offer to pay for telemedicine. This is a new area, but they found out that small businesses really have a difficult time uh, being able to offer insurance. It's not that they don't want to, they would love to, they just can't afford it. A lot of doctors like the idea because it keeps the waiting rooms clear. At one medical group, about 7,500 patients used the virtual treatment system last year. Only 15% of those patients were actually told to come in for treatment.